Hey, Credit Warriors, welcome to the show. And we have a rumor video for you today. I love a good rumor video. And uh, this one is we're talking about a possible new luxury hotel credit card that may be launching. Okay, we'll tell you where this rumor comes from and all about it. And you know, sometimes these rumors do come true. So uh, keep an eye out after you watch this video. But first, if you do want to support our show, why not support our sponsor? You can get up to 12 free stocks for opening a new brokerage account and depositing any amount of money with the investing app Webull. Webull, of course, is a zero commission investing app on your smartphone and on desktop uh, where you can invest in stocks, cryptos. They've got much better charts than the competition, <coughs> Robin Hood. And uh, if you sign up, you can get at least six free stocks at a minimum value of $34, but if not up to 12, if you really luck out, and if you're really lucky and you get good values on the stocks, could be worth several thousand dollars. So uh, luck of the draw, what you get, link is below. All right, so without further ado, let's actually get into talking about this. So a person posted on Reddit that they had received a survey from Chase, surveying them on a possible new hotel credit card. Now, let's actually pull up uh, Reddit and we'll pull up this uh, this actual survey so you guys can uh, you can see what I'm talking about here. Just bear with me one second. Um, so here's the survey. And this is what this person received. And you can see that Chase says, got a survey from Chase spitballing features for a mid-tier Hyatt credit card, $250 to $450 annual fee. Um, spitballing, that's an interesting word. Now, in my opinion, I mean, $450, that wouldn't really be a mid-tier credit card. That would be a top tier, what I call tier four in my five tier credit card ladder system. 250, that would be like a tier 3.5. Okay. So I call like a tier, tier three is like a $95 annual fee around hundred dollars. Tier 3.5 is around 250. We're seeing more and more of those cards recently. And I brought that tier 3.5 in, in my most recent version of the credit card ladder video. It looks like this. I'll put it on the end card of this video if you guys want to check it out. But basically it's a system I invented to kind of put credit cards in ratings. So you know, kind of what, where the card fits in when you're thinking of which card to apply for. All right. So anyway, you guys can check that video out, but I would say if it's 450, it's going to be, I would say it's it's a high tier credit card. Let's now go through some of the other, um, some of the other benefits of this card. So here's some of the potential features listed in the survey. Various Hyatt related statement credits, $50 to $250. Now, I would say the useful, you know, useful credits would either be like a resort credit for Hyatt resorts, like, um, Hyatt Ziva, Cancun, Los Cabos, those ones, the all-inclusive resorts where you just get a credit for booking, um, or maybe a food and beverage credit for non-resort, well, non-all-inclusive properties. So you stay at the Grand Hyatt or you stay at, you know, another Hyatt property and uh, you order room service and, you know, they give you room service, all right? And you get credited back for room service or whatever, whatever you spend at the resort. That's typically how they do it with cards like the Hilton Aspire, etc. It, it's a hotel credit. Some Marriott cards now have brought in like a dining credit that you can use it anywhere. I, um, although it's easy to use, I kind of think it's a little pointless because you want to inspire lo loyalty for people going to your hotel chain. So it should be a credit for, um, you know, the actual hotel that you're going to. Um, let's go, let's keep going. So discounts on AI bookings, BOGO or B3GO. Um, I actually have no idea what that means, guys. I'm sorry. Maybe someone can post in the comments. I'm probably being really dumb here. I even saw someone posting further down um, talking about this. Look, that something BOGO is way better than B3GO. <laughs> okay, great. I have no idea what that means, but cool. <laughs> I hope we get BOGO then instead of B3GO. But anyway, please leave a comment and tell me what that means, guys. Then we've got Explorist either for the first year or as long as you hold the card. Now, that would be really good in my opinion. Um, because I don't think there's a card that gives Explorist. You've got the, uh, right now you've got the Hyatt Business card. That's this one. And that is giving, where, what are we looking for? That gives, I think, Discoverist. Yeah, Discoverist status. And then it helps you get to the next level of status quickly. Um, but to give Explorist would be really cool. Uh, here are the Hyatt levels. So with Explorist, um, oh, actually, those are not the Hyatt levels. These are the Hyatt levels. With Explorist, um, it's not that different from Discoverist. You do get a genuine room upgrade. With uh, Discoverist, you just get like a preferred room within the same type that you booked. Whereas you do genuinely get a room upgrade with Explorist, although it doesn't include suites or club level rooms. 
Um, a lot of the other benefits are the same, except for guaranteed availability within 72 hours. Um, if you want to really get a lot of benefits, like free breakfast, free parking, that kind of stuff, priority access, um, guest of honor. I wonder how that is. That sounds good. Uh, but if you really want that, you need to get to Globalist, which is their, um, their highest level of status. Let's go back. So either Explorers for the first year or as long as you hold the card. It'd be great if it was as long as you hold the card. I think it would have to be 450 annual fee to do that, though. Um, you can get 10 elite knights and that helps you get to the next level of status quicker. So in, if you had Explorers, it would help you get to Globalist quicker. A category five free knight certificate. So category five would be, we've got the categories up here. Um, that would be hotels that are 20,000 points per night for a standard availability, 23,000 peak, 17,000 off peak. So that's a reasonably high category. That's sort of high mid tier. It's not quite luxury. Hyatt Ziva Los Cabos was 20,000 when I went. I think it might have gone up a tier. I'm not sure. But anyway, 20 or 20, I think it's now 25,000 standard. Let's have a look at some of the other benefits. You could gift a certificate somewhere else. Extending certificates by 5,000 miles. That would be interesting. So how that would work would be like your certificate is going to expire at the end of the year. And you say, hey, I want to use it next year. So you add or you pay 5,000. Actually, the person said miles. It should have been higher points. Okay, 5,000 points. You pay 5,000 points to extend the certificate, presumably another year. That could work. That could be a useful benefit in some situations. Um, let's let's keep going. So we've got combining two certificates uh, into a category six or category eight certificate. Now, presumably that was a question in the survey, like would you like to see a benefit where you combine two certificates into a category six? Would that be worth it? Like two category fives turn into a category six? Doesn't sound worth it in my opinion. So what about category eight? All right, two category five certificates, they turn, you can combine them into a category eight certificate. That could be worth it, maybe. You'd have to do the math, but that sounds a lot more worth it, right? Uh, and then we've also got another, uh, another benefit here, which is topping off a certificate with 5,000 points per category, all right? So I am assuming how that one would work would be if you've got a category five certificate at 20,000, which would be the rate in points for the standard award, you paid 5,000 to go to the next tier, another 5,000 to the next tier to 30,000, then you're in line with what rooms actually cost. But you're paying only 5,000 to get to the next tier, which should cost 40,000, but in a way you're only paying 35. So that's actually quite a sweet deal. Um, and then just the last thing that the person says is no, no potential sign up uh, offers listed on the survey. Um, so, you know, I, I think it sounds like a pretty sweet deal. I mean, elements of it, right? The whole thing about topping up free night certificates, Marriott brought that in recently. You can top up Marriott free night certificates up to 15,000 points, um, which makes them more versatile. Because like, what if you got a 50,000 point certificate, but the hotel you want is like 53,000, right? It makes sense that you'd be able to top them up. So good to see Hyatt following suit. I think it's a little bit of a trend in the hotel um, loyalty industry now that you can top up free night certificates. Everyone seems to be doing it. Um, and, you know, some of the other benefits uh, do look great. Fast track to get to Discoverist. I think that, uh, not Discoverist, to um, Globalist. I think that would be really useful. So you start at Explorist and you can kind of fast track to Globalist. Uh, extending certificates is interesting. So, and I'd be interested to see what the Hyatt credits are as well. So I hope this is true, guys, because I think, um, you know, it, it could be really good to get a high level Hyatt hotel card. Hilton's got them, Marriott's got them. Why not Hyatt, right? Now, if you are itching to get a Hyatt card, there's currently a 75,000 point bonus on the Hyatt business card, which is a really useful card also from Chase. It's got a load of great benefits. So I'll put a link to that one below. Uh, I think that's a limited time offer. As always, if you do use our links, it helps out our show. And don't think that you have to get that card that you click on. If you click on the Hyatt card and you actually then navigate through the site, creditcards.com to some other cards, um, it helps us out anyway, no matter what cards you uh, you look at and learn more about on that site. Um, so we thank you very much if you use those links. But guys, please leave your comments about this rumored card below. Do you think it looks good? What would you like to see on it? And what is BOGO and B3GO? I'd really love to know. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to get your 12 free stocks from Weeble in the links below as well. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.